Last night, a teen and two boys were shot in Durham in what neighbors are calling a drive-by. One of the boys, who is just 11, is still in serious condition at the hospital. Today, CBS North Carolina's A.J. Janivelle spoke to neighbors about the shooting. A.J. Yeah, Maggie, those neighbors tell me last night they were terrified to hear those gunshots, but today the focus has changed to that 11-year-old boy who is still in the hospital. Sunday, Reservoir Street seemed like any normal neighborhood. Children were playing, and neighbors like Bernard Hatley were out working. But less than 24 hours ago, it was a lot different. Hatley says he was in his daughter's house when the shooting happened. He tells me the neighborhood was in a panic. When I came outside, somebody said, here they come again. But uh, it wasn't them, but everybody still was ducking and running at the same time. Man. Hatley wasn't hurt, but his car was hit three times. The bullet right here went through here. He showed me each of the bullet holes and says he can't drive it now, but he says he was lucky. In total, three kids were hit by what neighbors are saying was a drive-by shooting. Two 11-year-old boys and a 16-year-old boy. One of the 11-year-olds is still in serious condition. Hatley says he would always see the kids playing around the neighborhood. So I'm just thankful didn't nobody get killed yet, you know, but... Right. You know, we're praying for my little homie, you know, that's in the hospital now. Hatley says he's lived in the neighborhood for over a decade, and nothing like this has ever happened before. Unfortunately, he says but, this is yeah, something he's gosh, used to. I grew up in the mm -hmm. project, you know. Okay. So, you, you, you know, it, it, it ain't like, you know, something like this is new to me, you know what I'm saying? And as of right now, police have not released any information in regards to suspects. They do ask if you have any information to contact them.